Absent dad disorder. Today's word vitamin has a look at dads. Now most human beings require a male for, concept, for conception at some, in some modality and there are many ways to the waterfall, we know that. However, the emotive impact, the presence or absence of a dad has in our lives is substantial. And again, for some people not having a father, they can feel like that's a blessing. And for other people, it can feel like a curse. Some of us have fathers that have died or through biological situations, they don't know who their biological father is or they have had geographical distance from their biological father through divorce, whatever. At the end of the day, the influence of parental males in our life can become, in adult life, what feels like an asset or a liability. The great news is, though, um, it's never too late to heal the father wound. If you get a chance to read the word vitamin today, I talk a little bit about some of my journey. For some people, they have had physically present dads that are emotionally absent. And um, again, you know, please understand any dads listening to this, I'm not having a go at dads. You know, there are, you know, I've been an absent mother. I just gave a keynote this morning, putting my hand up, confessing about Absent mother disorder, I was one for quite some time. And again, this, you know, the word vitamins that I write and, and the things that I share are not an opportunity for us to beat ourselves up, but an opportunity for us to have a look at where we have been detached as parents. And if we've had emotionally absent caregivers and, and males in our lives, and whether they were dads or stepdads or guardians or foster parents, that creating a connection to um, a wise male elder, it's never too late to do that and to heal our father wounds. Um, when I talk about connection and emotional connection, I always sort of say to people, think about a mo mobile phone signal because when, when we're looking for connection, for many people they have physical connection but not emotional connection. So there's no heart connection, there's no signal which can be a little bit like talking to somebody on a telephone and if we use the telephone as a metaphor for a relationship we can have a relationship we can have a telephone in our hand but if the signal drops out there's no connection we're not seen we're not heard we can't be received so it's really worthwhile having a look at any outstanding issues that we have with dads and with our fathers and any healing that is surfacing that needs happening. And sometimes the healing might just be grieving, crying, um, writing a note, uh, or having a conversation with a, with a trusted male elder that can be a stand-in if through death, divorce, tragedy, or whatever, your biological father is not available or your emotional father is not available. Anyway, there's some food for thought there. Again, please understand that with any of these word vitamins, they're just an opportunity to massage the heart and have a look at what's there for you. And if you need some help and you need some healing as I did, oh my God, um, please don't be afraid to put your hand up and ask for help. Um, I, I do these little vlogs, these uh, videos from time to time, whenever I can get, get a, a moment in my day. But um, please feel free to go to my YouTube channel because there is just a list of little word vitamins there that you can shop through if you feel like what I've written for the day doesn't fit but you you know, you know you wouldn't mind um, having a look at something else that's going on in your, in your life. Anyway, lovely to be back and um, yes, I hope today's word vitamin is helpful. Mwah. Lots of love. Oops. See ya.